Well, hello, Shoreline Church family and friends. Uh, this is your devotional for March 9th. We're continuing the book of James. Uh, we're jumping into chapter 3, just the first two verses. And we're really kind of looking at a word of counsel to people who teach. Probably not school teachers here. It's talking about teachers in the church, preachers, teachers, uh, teaching children, youth. If you open this book and lead a Bible study or teach, it's a good word for you. And if you, if you care about those who teach, listen for them as well. Here's what we read in James 3, 1. Not many of you should become teachers, my fellow believers, because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. We all stumble in many ways. Anyone who is never at fault in what they say is perfect, able to keep their whole body in check. It's a fascinating passage. Uh, first, we see that there's a be careful. Be careful if you want to be a teacher. Now you say, well, shouldn't I want to teach God's word? Shouldn't I want to share God's word? Absolutely. But what he's not, he's not saying don't teach. He's saying understand that when you open this book and you teach it, there's a certain weight that comes on you. As a matter of fact, the, the words are pretty sobering. We, he says, because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. So here's a question for you. When, when the Bible says you'll be judged more strictly if you open this book and teach it in whatever setting, what does that mean? Does that mean... I'll tend to judge myself a little bit more because I know the standard of the Bible? And my answer would be, yes, I think that's part of it. Does it mean I'll be judged more strictly by the people I teach because they'll expect me to actually, you know, live out what I, I teach and talk about? Yes. They're, 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 and that's fair. You said, does it mean that God will judge me more strictly if I teach his word? I think there's some of that there too. He's saying, if you handle this book, now, now I'm a pastor and I stumble in sin. I don't claim to be perfect. I've never claimed to be perfect. I'm made perfect in Jesus by his grace. I'll stand before the heavenly father one day and he'll say, you're washed clean and perfect. But in this life, I still stumble at times. So it's a sober challenge to realize that we may end up judging ourselves a little bit more. Others might judge us and God might judge us. Well, then why would I, why would I ever want to be a teacher? Well, you need to be a teacher when God calls you. And then you strive to live out what you learn in the scriptures. Let the word of God shape your thinking and your heartbeat and the actions of your hands in your life. And so, pray for those who teach. Pray for those in that world, whether they're teaching second and third grade kids in the church, whether they're teaching the Bible in a Bible class at a local Christian school, whether they're teaching in the pulpit of a church, or any other format. Will you join me in praying that God will help those who teach to really live out the words they teach? Lord Jesus, this is our prayer. We believe that you are a God of grace and a God of patience, but we also believe that when a person opens this book, your word, and teaches it, it's a serious thing. So we pray for those who teach children in your churches, those who teach youth, those who teach adult classes, those who lead Bible studies, those who, who teach at Christian schools and high schools and college and seminaries, for preachers who open up your word in a pulpit and preach your word. May you help us understand that preaching your word is a sacred task. Lord, watch over all those who preach and to teach, including me as I preach your word, and help us understand that your grace is always enough, but there's a particular weight on those who preach your word. Help us live it out in all that we do. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, if you're part of the Shoreline community, I invite you to join us this Sunday morning, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock, in the family worship venue, in the courtyard, in the worship center, and at home, online, or wherever you are. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your week.